definitely um, like the target market for advisory services. I don't particularly feel as an industry. Um, and as a niche, we don't really have an industry as our as our target. And I, and I know a lot of people do have like they work with only creative agencies or they work with only um, like solicitors or letting agents or whatever it might be. But I find that we drill down to the person. We're, like, we're after the, the type of person, I guess the ideal client, but it doesn't necessarily matter what sector they're in. Um, they do tend to fall in similar sectors. But we're looking for that person that is open to technology, open to apps, open to growth, that they're not just using their accountant for tax efficiency or squeezing as much through the books as possible. They're using their accountant as a almost like a partner to help them grow. And I find that if you get that right client, they are after advisory um, or they will be down the road, you know, cash flow depending as they're, depending on their, where they are in their journey. Um, you know, I think you probably see, you know, stereotypically, there's probably less advisory uptake in the construction industry and the kind of uh, hospitality industry, perhaps, um, especially smaller cafes and smaller subcontractors and subbies and carpenters and things like that. But I think with the right person who's, you know, switched on about the finances and is interested in that bit, that could be anyone. That's, that's not to say that the small cafe owner doesn't care about that and they do want that kind of service. Um, so I don't necessarily think it rules out by industry. I think it's more down to what that person wants out of their business and kind of comes back to, you know, is it their lifestyle business? Are they, you know, do they want to stay below the back threshold and just stay, you know, um, kind of stay at that level and, you know, then they don't have VAT or anything like that and they're all done. Those people can't, probably aren't interested in advisory. They're not going to care about set of management reports. They cared about how much tax you're going to tell them is due at the end of the year and why that's so high. <laughs> Whereas basically, if you're looking for that kind of client who is looking to grow and look, we're not looking for, you know, they don't all have to be unicorns. They don't all have to be the next Revolut, Starling, whoever, you know, they are the, um, they're just, businesses that are looking to grow. And that is kind of what I'd say our, our target falls under is that we're, we're looking for people who are who are um, interested in that technology side of things. They're, they're growing their team, they're growing their business. And with that comes the challenges that as a business owner, like we all are as well, is that we're getting pulled in directions. And so having the accountant being able to go to you and say, here's your financials for the month, here's your upcoming forecast, Here's the things you need to be aware of is one less thing for that entrepreneur has to do. They can focus on the ops and the HR and the other bits and pieces that they have to do um, or work with their other specialists in those different areas as well. And so for us, it's definitely trying to find the, the person. And that's part of the discovery call process is finding what are they after in their business? What are their goals? And trying to get an idea then if they're a right fit for us, because we turn clients away because they're not all prospects away because they're not the right fit for us. You know, it's um, they're looking for either the cheapest accountant or the accountant is going to do the bare minimum um, or they want to drop off all their books and records and, and paper. And so we have a very strict process, you know, zero and receipt bank only. You can come to us with another one, but we'll move you on to it. Um, we'll, we'll have our services all set out. It's all monthly fixed direct debit. So we're quite strict in terms of, how we want people to work we don't really flex out of what what we want and if a client's if a client's willing to kind of move to that that's a great sign as well because they're trusting us from day one that this is a good process this is everything that's going to work for them and it allows us to then build off of app advisory financial advisory the compliance side all our external our internal systems plug into this model and it means that you know as long as we're getting the right client in who is open to you know, developing and, and building their business and, and they, they respect our kind of opinion and there's that mutual trust between the two of us, then I, I think it works really well.